here with Blue Table Painting painter Ben. Ben 2. Mm -hmm. Awesome. That's me. And uh, you got some Naruto going on there. Is that what's happening? Yeah. Uh, awesome. Can't get enough of that. Uh, it's my first time watching it. Oh, is it? Okay. Yep. So, um, all right. Uh, before we start in on your painting tip, mm -hmm. I want to show off these Chaos Warriors with these halberds made out of ogre. And so what's what's your painting tip of the day? Uh, my painting tip is using dry brushes to get a nice gradient. Okay. Um, so some people... Show us how it works. So some people would like to do wet blending to get a nice gradient, but I think if you just use a dry brush, you can get basically the same effect and that looks more organic. And so as I find what I've done with my stone gray... Okay. All right, go ahead. So as you can see here, I've already kind of started it, but I want the bottom to be a little thicker. Okay, so you've already done one layer of mm -hmm. dry brushing on this. Yep, and that's just, you get it done really now, hold, easily. Now, hold on a second. Show us what you just did on your hand. Okay, so to get a nice dry brush, I don't, I really don't like using a, like so a paper take towel. take some off on the edge of the palette. Mm -hmm, like this, and then I look to my skin and really, it's just like, okay, that's the consistency I yeah, want. You can feel it. Mm -hmm. Okay, great, go ahead. So now, I want this to be darker than this, so I'm gonna go real heavy here, then slightly work my way up. Okay. So, and then I'll go to the next one. And you can see just that so it's you're, such you're a cross grain to the first. Mm -hmm. That way, because with the dry brush, you're not getting in deep. You're right. just picking up the raised edges, Absolutely. what's there. So. And I might point out there's good dry, there's skilled dry brushing and rough dry brushing. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a way to do it really well. And it just takes practice. Yeah, a lot of people will will think you have to use a completely dry, dry brush. Right. And that's not really the case. You want a refreshed brush. So you want to get it slightly damp and then dry it out, then put your paint. Okay. That gives you a, a consistent color and it doesn't look powdery. Right. So that there was just a little too mm -hmm. thick. Yeah. Okay, and. Great. So, are you trying to put like socks on this guy? Where mm -hmm. is his upper fur? Okay, so what do you do next? So, with that, after that's done, I want to make sure that my gradient is, and since that brush is really wet, I will grab my bigger brush right. here. And uh, I'd like to give a tip, which mm -hmm. is I like to keep a little fan near my desk and make sure it's not blowing across your palette mm -hmm. or your work area because your paints will dry out, but I use it to dry my brushes. Yep. What I use is uh, I always have my laptop with me Yeah. and there's a, a vent right here. Okay. So I put my dry brush, my, dry, my brushes right there so they dry okay. out. That's clever. That's really <laughs> clever. I had never thought of that before. So, okay, now, just, so now you're putting some gray Just on a there. little light gray because I figure okay, right. if you look at the light, it's going to hit here on right. top. So I want that just to be a tad bit lighter. So, so and it's this a, brush is huge. Are you going to cover some kind of giant area with this? Mm, um, it, since this area is bigger, I like using a, just a bigger dry brush. Okay. Like and that. then I'm just hitting the very, very tippities. Okay. All right. And that just gives it. So that's kind of a that that's a basic way to give kind of a three tone. Mm -hmm. That you have a light gray, a medium gray, and then this. Uh, stone gray, mm -hmm. right? Yep, and if so. you, we have this. I mean, I've done all of this with the skin, which is those two colors. Okay. But with the gradient okay. that I have here, you actually look like it has a third color in it. Yeah, it does. And I think the, the eye subconsciously picks up on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Hey, thanks a lot, Ben. No problem.